Alright, welcome back. This is going to be a quick video on the radio for the F-16. Uh, this is for those that have SRS installed. They're using their radios on their other jets uh, and they want to learn how to use it in the F-16. They already have SRS connected. It's working. They just don't know how to switch frequencies on the F-16. So let's get started. We have COM1 and COM2 right here in front. COM1 is your UHF on the DED. COM2 is the VHF. So uh, if I am, right now I'm at MACOP and I want to switch to the MACOP ATC. Let's go into the briefing for this server. And we can see that the MACOP ATC is frequency 254 on UHF. So we're gonna go to COM1, hit 254 and hit enter. And now you can see UHF is tuned to 254. Look over here, you can see on the SRS, it is also 254 because it's tied in and installed correctly. Now I can transmit on 254, make up traffic school one checking in. Um, and COM2 is your VHF. So say we want to change this from 123 to uh, 120.5, right? So COM2, 120.5. Well, that doesn't work. 1205, that's, we want 120.5, right? So we need to add another digit. There's always gonna be an extra zero if, the, if that is the frequency that you're going for. So now I can transmit on that with my VHF transmit button. Spool one, comms check. Right now, I don't think there's anyone on the server with me, so I'm probably not gonna get any response right now, but uh, that's how you use it, that's it. It's very simple. All right, and one last thing. Uh, say you are on the ramp, cold and dark, you need to start up, and you want to call the tower to uh, call for startup clearance. All you have to do is put main back, uh, main battery power up to me. All right, and then turn on your radio. This is your radio right here. We're gonna go to main. And we can change this to uh, whatever frequency we're trying to get to. So say uh, I'm at MACOP, we're going to go to 254, so 254. And you can see that my SRS client is tuning as well. So now I'm able to transmit over 254 and ask MACOP Tower for startup clearance. I mean, that's it. From there, you start up and then you can get your VHF running. Unfortunately, this radio does not transmit over VHF. It's only UHF. Uh, as you can see right over here on the right, UHF. Um, so uh, you have to use that to get your startup clearance before you can get the jet up and move on to VHF. I hope this helps.